Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial we will be talking about eukaryotic transcription. And in the subsequent video lecture in this whole series we will be discussing about the eukaryotic transcription and about eukaryotic transcription factors and the mechanism of eukaryotic transcription in different levels. Okay. Now <clears throat> for the very first video and view uh, about this process we must know in case of what is the basic feature of eukaryotic transcription and what is the difference of eukaryotic transcription from prokaryotic transcription. Now remember in case of prokaryotic transcription we are dealing with uh, the process remains the same so that means we are having DNA so we are having DNA which is double stranded so DNA is double stranded it is double stranded and from this double stranded DNA what we are producing we are producing RNA okay we are producing RNA and RNA here is single stranded we all know that these are the true facts now the production of RNA from DNA uh, works a process called transcription right say this is uh, and it needs an enzyme to sit onto it for example this is the enzyme it is called the polymerase or RNA polymerase it is called RNA polymerase so this is a fact which is common to both the cases in prokaryotes and also in eukaryotes so simply the production of RNA rather we can tell it uh, it could be a variable type it could be mRNA or messenger RNA rRNA or ribosomal RNA or tRNA or transfer RNA so depending upon the different varieties of RNA we can produce from the DNA because DNA is carrying the sequence which will be transcribed into RNA now there are codes there are regions called codes that are present in the DNA which will be transferred to RNA because RNA will act along with ribosomes to make proteins because our actual goal is to produce proteins so let us draw it here so actual goal is to produce proteins so these are our actual goal and we can produce protein by the translation so again if we look at the central dogma of biology this is a process DNA to RNA then RNA to proteins but in case of prokaryotes what we are dealing with this process of transcription now in this series we are talking about this step which is called transcription okay now we have seen in uh, the prokaryotic transcription so you must know the prokaryotic transcription before entering into the eukaryotic transcription because in eukaryotic transcription it involves much more enzymes it involves much more complications so you first understand the simple uh, prokaryotic transcription then come and look at the eukaryotic transcription okay now here it is varying in some region from the prokaryotic transcription because in prokaryotic transcription most of the time we are having only one enzyme and one enzyme complex it is called the RNA polymerase now this RNA polymerase itself can provide the all the machineries to produce mRNA from the DNA but in case of eukaryotic system single RNA polymerase is unable to do that so we need other factors now these factors are called enhancers there are chemical mediators chemical modulators and there are activators there are repressors that are regulating the production of RNA from DNAs so we need to take uh, all of these things in count and we can then study the process in detail so remember in case of eukaryotic system it is much more complicated so we not only have polymerase so like the other we, are, we must have polymerase so we are having polymerase but not only polymerase along with that we are having enhancers enhancers and we also have uh, activators and we are also having repressors and we are also having mediators so these are so what are these things enhancers activators mediators repressors all of these things some of them are proteins some of them are nucleotide signals now those signals are telling eventually other proteins to be attached with that mRNA and to give a particular signal okay so in all the directions these all things are account for the production of mRNA from DNA in case of eukaryotic system now in the subsequent videos we will be looking at uh, the process of uh, this uh, 
transcription in detail but uh, first first talk about the most important enzyme of all which is the rna polymerase now if i write only polymerase it will be a mistake so let us write it rna polymerase now rna polymerase means it is a dna dependent polymerase enzyme which depends upon dna sequence for its activity and it will produce rna from the dna now this rna polymerase can be divided into three parts polymerase 1 polymerase 2 and polymerase 3 now rna polymerase 1 is responsible for producing or for making ribosomal rna two large ribosomal rnas because ribosomal rnas remember it they are the part of ribosome so in a cell most abundantly found rna is ribosomal rna so from this RNA polymerase, if we think, so let us consider this RNA polymerase, we can divide it into three different parts. One is Pol1, another one is Pol2, and third one is Pol3. Now Pol1 is responsible for producing rRNA, especially 28S and 18S rRNA is produced utilizing pol1 on the other hand pol3 is trans transcribing trnas sorry trnas and pol2 is the most vital of all it produces all the proteins so it code for all the functional protein that is found inside our body so all proteins inside our body all the functional proteins inside our body so it is transcribing those rnas which are carrying the coding regions for producing proteins right so these are the different varieties of rna polymerase and we are going to see the effectivity of this polymerase will vary and also the activity will vary and the mechanism of activity from for pol1 pol2 and pol3 will also vary in different times okay now in the future video we'll be discussing about each of these different polymerase and not only the polymerase but along with the polymerase sorry we are going to see the interaction of this polymerase with the dna sequence and how this interaction give rise to a successful transcription to an mrna now in any kind of transcription process in eukaryotic system two things are the most important thing what are those if you want to remember two things about this transcription you must remember that one is your rna polymerase this is a very key thing for the transcription the second important thing for this type of transcription is the dna sequences or signals sorry or signals that are present in the dna these two things are important and not only individual these two things but the interaction of these two things so let me write it down for the third thing the third thing is the interaction between rna pol or rna polymerase plus dna sequence this is very very important for the transcription of eukaryotic mRNA, mRNA, tRNA or rRNA. So we are having a DNA sequence and to that DNA sequence polymerase are going to bound. And then there are also mediators. So not only these two, so I have a mistake, so not only these two things. So the interaction between RNA, pol and DNA sequences are important. Along with that, the third important thing uh, and of all is or say here is a, according to this limit it's the fourth one is some uh, transcription factors transcription factors are also an important part so these four things actually these three ingredient and this is the recipe so this is the recipe for a successful RNA production in eukaryotic system. You must have RNA polymerase and accessibility of RNA polymerase. Second thing is proper DNA sequence. And third thing is the transcription factors. 
Now, uh, most important thing is the interaction between the RNA and the DNA sequence. RNA polymerase and the DNA sequence. Now, this interaction will depend, remember this, this interaction will depend upon the transcription factors. Because there are some transcription factors which are helping to establish this interaction pretty strongly or pretty pro positively. In those cases, transcription occurs really faster and in a positive way. On the other hand, there are also some transcription mediators which are having negative effect. We call them repressors. So in those cases, the presence of these transcription factors play a very very vital role in case of the eukaryotic mRNA in, in, in eukaryotic transcription. Not only mRNA, all these RNAs. Okay. So this thing you need to keep on your mind whenever you are talking about eukaryotic transcription that is not only about RNA polymerase and DNA sequence but it is also about some transcription factors. Now obviously these factors are protein molecules. They mean that we are meaning that these factors are protein molecules. They are proteins. Now these proteins are going to interact between or they are going to be the bridge between this RNA polymerase and DNA sequence and help to establish either a positive or a negative interaction between this RNA polymerase and DNA. Now it this is the crucial part, the vital, most vital part. If this interaction is a positive, then the process will be positive effect. If the interaction is negative, then the effect will be negative. This is it. That is the process of how the, pro the whole thing is working. Now, these transcription factors that we are dealing with again can be divided into two different types. One is called general transcription factors, and another one, another one is called sorry for the inconvenience, another one is called spe specific transcription factors. Okay, so if we divide these uh, factors, it will provide two. One is general transcription factors, TF, and another one is called specialized or specific, sorry, specific transcription factor. Okay. So, in a summary, what we can tell is uh, in case of eukaryotic transcription, uh, three things are important the RNA polymerase enzyme, the DNA sequences more importantly the region where polymers start to bind in most of the cases the sequence is called promoter sequences right and also there are site for the activator binding and all these things we are going to see later and also uh, the transcription factors and the most crucial thing is the interaction between the RNA polymerase and the DNA sequences like promoter sequences in the future videos we are going to see uh, polymerase, these three different types of polymerase and their function the, and their interaction pattern with the DNA sequences or with the DNA polymerase, uh, DNA promoter region and also some uh, DNA sequences which are helping to at attach with these transcription factors to positively regulate the transcription process. And future videos we will be seeing each of these different polymerase and their activity and their mechanism of transcription in detail. Okay, so that's about the very, very short introduction of the eukaryotic transcription and I hope it will help you. Thank you.